To pretend angels do not exist because they are invisible is to believe we never sleep because we don't see ourselves sleeping. It is requisite for the relaxation of the mind that we make use, from time to time, of playful deeds and jokes. Fear is such a powerful emotion for humans that when we allow it to take us over, it drives compassion right out of our hearts. Sorrow can be alleviated by good sleep, a bath and a glass of wine. Better to illuminate than merely to shine to deliver to others contemplated truths than merely to contemplate. Not everything that is more difficult is more meritorious. We are worth only as good as our joys. Everything that man wants or desires, it is necessary either for its ultimate end. The truth is the agreement between intelligence and things. The passions are in themselves neither good nor bad. We can open our hearts to God, but only with divine help. Nothing created has ever been able to fill the heart of man, God alone can fill it infinitely. The knowledge of God is the cause of things, for the knowledge of God is to all creatures what the knowledge of the artificer is to things made by his art. How can we live in harmony? First, we need to know we are all madly in love with the same God. Clearly the person who accepts the church as an infallible guide will believe whatever the church teaches. God should not be called an individual substance since the principle of individuation is matter. Because we cannot know what God is, but only what he is not, we cannot consider how he is, but only how he is not. Just as a woman had announced the words of death the first man, so also a woman was the first to announce to the apostles the words of life. Reason in man is rather like God in the world. It must be said that charity can, in no way, exist along with mortal sins. To convert somebody, go and take them by the hand and guide them. If, then, you are looking for the way by which you should go, take Christ, because he himself is the way. The knowledge of God is the cause of all things. Human salvation demands the divine disclosure of truth surpassing reason. That the saints may enjoy their beatitude and the grace of God more abundantly they are permitted to see the punishment of the damned in hell. All that is true, by whomsoever it has been said has its origin in the Spirit. A man does not always choose what his guardian angel intends. Whatever is received is received according to the nature of the recipient. The knowledge of God is to all creatures what the knowledge of the artificer is to things made by his art. Because philosophy arises from awe, a philosopher is bound in his way to be a lover of myths and poetic fables, poets and philosophers are alike in being big with wonder. Better to illuminate than merely to shine, to deliver to others contemplated truths than merely to contemplate.
Good can exist without evil, whereas evil cannot exist without good. Happiness is secured through virtue, it is a good attained by man's own will. If the highest aim of a captain were to preserve his ship, he would keep it in port forever. The study of philosophy is not that we may know what men have thought, but what the truth of things is. We can't have full knowledge all at once, we must start by believing, then afterwards we may be led on to master the evidence for ourselves. Man has free choice, or otherwise counsels, exhortations, commands, prohibitions, rewards and punishments would be in vain. Our manner of knowing is so weak that no philosopher could perfectly investigate the nature of even one little fly. Love takes up where knowledge leaves off. Love is a binding force, by which another is joined to me and cherished by myself. The things that we love tell us what we are. To love is to will the good of the other. There is nothing on this earth more to be prized than true friendship. No man truly has joy unless he lives in love. We can't have full knowledge all at once, we must start by believing, then afterwards we may be led on to master the evidence for ourselves. Man should not consider his material possession his own, but as common to all, so as to share them without hesitation when others are in need. Well-ordered self-love is right and natural. All the efforts of the human mind cannot exhaust the essence of a single fly. Man cannot live without joy, therefore when he is deprived of true spiritual joys it is necessary that he become addicted to carnal pleasures. A man has free choice to the extent that he is rational. Wonder is the desire for knowledge. Temperance is simply a disposition of the mind which binds the passion. Law is nothing other than a certain ordinance of reason for the common good, promulgated by the person who has the care of the community. Justice is a certain rectitude of mind whereby a man does what he ought to do in the circumstances confronting him. The principal act of courage is to endure and withstand dangers doggedly rather than to attack them. In order for a war to be just, three things are necessary, first, the authority of the sovereign, secondly, a just cause, thirdly, a rightful intention. Mercy without justice is the mother of dissolution. Justice, without mercy, is cruelty.